Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode 23 of my RStudio tutorials here on YouTube. So today we're gonna have another look at multiple linear regression and today we're gonna have a look not at confounders or mediators, but at moderation. So first of all, if this video was helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I want to make this channel grow as much as possible, so every subscription really helps me. So I do recommend watching episode 16 first, which is about simple linear regression. You do need to understand uh, simple linear regression before you can uh, look at multiple linear regression. But if you do know the basics, then feel free to continue with this video. So today we're going to talk about about uh, about uh, moderation. And we have an independent variable called job, which is a, a categorical variable with four categories, four tiers and the dependent variable being income. And if the job tier increases, then income increases. You can see that in R, I've got a data set over here, it's called moderator. And if your job increases, then your income increases. So that is the simple linear regression. But today we're talking about moderation and this time the moderator is gender. And it's not a confounder or a mediator, but it has an effect on the main effect. And that sounds kind of weird, but actually it's not. The moderator says that the main effect differs between the two gender groups. So that job to income is higher for men than it might be for women or the other way around. That's what we're going to find out today. So once more, the moderating variable divides the main effect of the independent on the dependent variable. It basically states that the main effect differs between the moderating groups. And usually this is either gender or age. It could also be age. For example, that the effect of job on income is higher for people who have a young age than job to income for people of an old age. So then age would be the uh, moderating variable. And in this case, it's gender and half of the data set is women and half of the data set is men. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to do a multiple linear regression with this moderator and how to interpret the results. So we're gonna go into your source screen. And first of all, we're gonna open a package called the tidyverse, which we do in every episode. So you type library tidyverse, and then it comes for enter. If you have never installed a package before, then please check out episode number one to find out how you can actually open packages easily. And right now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a variable, uh, we're gonna make uh, a moderating variable, which is the independent variable multiplied with the moderating variable. So first we're gonna attach the data set. So you press attach, and then in this case, moderator data set. So from now on, SPSS knows, uh, R knows that we're uh, talking about the moderator data set. And the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to make the moderating, so in other words, the interaction variable, which we call mod, uh, and it's going to consist of the independent variable multiplied with the moderating variable. So in this case, job is going to get multiplied with gender. So the, the new interaction variable, so the new moderating variable, is the independent variable versus the moderating variable. And then you press Ctrl Enter. And now we're gonna ask for a linear model. And first of all, we're gonna type that, that we're using the moderator uh, data set. Then we use the pipe operator, which is Ctrl Shift M. And then we're gonna ask for a linear model. So LM, open brackets. Then first the dependent variable is income. And then the wavy curvy symbol. And then there are three independent variables. Job plus uh, job plus uh, gender plus the new mod data, the mod variable. So these are the three independent variables. So it's the independent variable, the, the moderating variable, and the new moderation slash interaction variable. And then you press a comma and then data equals dot and then afterwards you press the uh, uh, pipe operator again 
and then you ask for the summary of this model. And then you press Ctrl Enter. And if we then go into the console screen in the bottom, also known as the output screen, you can see your coefficients table with an intercept, the slope for mod, the slope for gender, and the slope for our new interaction variable. And this is where the fun begins. So the intercept, also known as the constant, is the value of the dependent variable if all independent variables are zero. So in this case, the dependent variable, which is income, is 2000 if job and gender and the interaction are zero. So if your job is zero, it means you don't have a job at all. If gender is zero, then you can have to know whether what a gender is zero, you have to know whether that's males or females. In this case, it's female. You have to know that. Uh, and the last uh, interaction, uh, the interaction variable, if it's zero, that doesn't really matter. Um, so uh, in this case, if your job is zero, so you don't have a job, and you're a woman, then your constant, then your income is 2000. That's the explanation of the constant, of the intercept. Then we're going to take a look at the first independence variable, which is job. And it has a slope of 18,000. It looks like 1800, but because it says 0, 04, it's 18,000. So, uh, if you're, and the slope of the independent variable only applies when the other independent variable, in this case gender, is 0. So if your gender is zero, so you're a female, then if your job increases with one, then your income increases with 18,000. So once again, the job slope only applies when gender is zero and it's 18,000. So for women, because gender zero is women, if job increases with one, so you go from job tier two to job tier three, for example, your income increases with 18,000. That's the slope of job. The slope of gender only applies when job is zero, when the other independent variable is zero. So if your job is zero, then if your uh, gender increases, your income decreases with 9,000. So if you don't have a job because your job is zero, if your gender increases, by one, so you go from a female to a male, then your income decreases with 9,000. But this slope is not really important because it's only hypothetical. And last but not least, and this is the most important one, the new interaction variable is 4,000. And this means that the main effect from job to income, so this was 18,000, and we determined that that was for women because gender is zero. Then the slope of job is 18,000. And what moderation, the new interaction variable states, is that if gender increases by one, that the job slope then is 4,000 higher. So in other words, if gender increases with one, so the moderating variable increases with one, then the main effect increases with 4,000. So that means the job slope was 18,000 for women, but if gender increases with one, so you go from a female to a male, then the slope from job to income is 22,000. So in this case, men earn more than women. So I'll repeat, normally if you're a female because gender is zero, the slope of job is 18,000, but the moderating variable, so the interaction variable, states that if gender increases with one, so you go from a female to a male, the main effect is 4,000 euros higher. So if you're a male, a man, then if your job increases with one, your uh, income increases with 22,000. And then we can take a look, are these uh, are these slopes significant? Then we take a look at the p-values and we can see that yes, they are all 0 0.000. So they are below the alpha of 0 0.05. So therefore we can conclude, first of all, 
that job has a significant effect on income. Second of all, gender has a significant effect on income. But more importantly, because we're talking about moderation, the interaction effect is significant. So there is a significant difference between the main effect for men and for women. So if we take a look at our model, job to income is 18,000 18, for women. And the effect of gen the uh, interaction effect is 4,000. That means that therefore, because the interaction is 4,000, it means if gender increases with one, then your job to income slope increases with 4,000. So that means that it's 22,000 for men. So that is what moderation basically is. It shows that the main effect differs between two groups if you're talking about gender. Or if you're talking about age, the main effect differs per age. And then you take a look in R, you ask for, first of all, you make the interaction variable by doing the independent variable times the moderating variable. Then you ask for a linear model, which has the dependent variable first, and then as the independent variables, the independent variable, the moderator, and the interaction variable you just made. And then you ask for the summary. And then the intercept means the dependent variable if all slow, if the independent variables are zero. So your income, if your job is zero and your uh, gender is zero, so women who don't work, the slope of job shows the if your job increases with one, what does your dependent variables income do? But only if gender is zero. And for gender, the other thing applies. If your gender increases with one, your income decreases with 9,000. But this is uh, only applies when your job is zero. And the interaction effect shows that if your main effect, if your moderating variable increases with one, then your main effect from the independent to the dependent variable increases with eight, uh, increases with 4,000. So that gets to a total of 22,000. Okay, so that was the basics of uh, uh, moderation in multiple linear regression. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, then uh, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Next episode, we're going to do some calculations with these. So how can you then calculate the income of someone who's, uh, who is a male and has job tier three, for example. That's what we're going to do next episode. So for now, I hope you guys have a good day and I see you on the next episode. Ciao.